Hi, Earthfolk. I am Melton, on my mission to discover everything great from Sega. If you'd like to join me, hit that subscribe and bell icon. Now I thought we'd take a bit of a look, a let's play and mini review even, of Dead of Alive 5 last round, but focusing on the Virtua Fighters. After all, this is a Sega channel. Now, there's four fighters, Virtua Fighters, in this game, and we're going to have a look at Sarah Bryant. So there's eight stages to play, and this is stage one. Starts off pretty easy, and you'll actually notice in later stages, so stick around, that they become a little bit more complicated. There's objects to bash through different levels, and, you know, things certainly heat up. You might be new to Virtua Fighter, and uh, well the game came out in 1993, it's obviously made by Sega, Sega AM2, and the amazingly talented Yu Suzuki. It was actually the first proper 3D polygon fighting game that came out, and it was a, a pretty uh, big, big thing at the time. Uh, this game itself, Dead or Alive, the first version, Dead or Alive 1, came out on Sega's arcade hardware. It came out on the Model 2, which is also what Virtua Fighter 2 came out on. And Dead or Alive 2 came out on the Naomi board, which, if I'm right, is what Virtua Fighter 3 came out on. This particular version of Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 5 last round, came out in 2015, but the actual game Dead of Alive 5 was from 2012. This is the third version of it. So as we get into the, the little playthrough here of Sarah Bryant, who is one of the more popular Virtua Fighters, we can see it's a... It, maybe it's just how I play the game here, but I, I, I play it um, from... <laughs> I have learnt some of the moves which might have been added to this game for Sarah, but I certainly play it like I'm playing Virtua Fighter. A lot of punch, 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 flip kick, punch, 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 knee. <laughs> it's kind of a... It's, it's how I play with most of my Virtua Fighter characters, the ones I like. Now, I mentioned there's three other Virtua Fighters in this, and I will be looking at later on in this video at the other three, so we're going to have a look at them as well. But here we go, here's a stage which is a little bit more explosive. Um, Dead of Alive is all about hitting your opponent into walls and things that explode, and we'll get to see that uh, in this. There we go, there's some of that. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not doing so well in this. Uh, okay, smashed my head in. Great. Uh, that's it. Um, punch, 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 flip kick. Oh, ow. Yeah. Okay. Get ready, fight. Mm. I am playing on normal and it is still fairly a challenge. I'm okay at Virtua Fighter. Um, I don't know if I would say I'm intermediate. I'm certainly... that's how you do it. I'm certainly not a complete beginner by any means. Although, looking at this, you'd maybe think I was. Um, but I am certainly no expert, not in the slightest. There's quite a lot of mechanics to this game. It, some of it is similar to the Virtua Fighter series. But, oh, there's, there's like, you can do special moves and, as I mentioned before, the stages, you interact with different parts of the stage, which we'll see later on in the video. As the, the arcade mode progresses through, the stages get a bit more interesting. So we'll see some of that coming up. But um, yeah, I play this as if I am playing Virtua Fighter and then try and do a few special moves on the top. Right now. Try again in a few years. Right now. Right here. Right here. Are you here to take me out? The game has story mode as well. I don't think the Virtua Fighter characters feature in that. I might be wrong, and it's not bad from what I've played of it. And also you might notice that some of the, the costumes, are, the outfits are a little bit, uh, like this guy Bayman, he was similar to the first 
stage one opponent, but they're actually different characters, so you know, using sports gear. Um, you'll also see later on Halloween and Santa Claus outfits. Get ready, fight! It's actually a bit of a, a negative part of this game that there's so many of these outfits, especially the Santa Claus ones. I don't need to see Santa outfits every playthrough. You can't actually turn them off and there's no mod or anything to to get rid of... Ouch, that, that was painful. To get rid of them, those sort of outfits and some of the Halloween ones look a bit weird and the alternative costumes look a bit strange. But. Of course, you can choose what costume you want and you unlock as you play. Uh, you can also unlock music and, and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, it is a decent game and it looks great. Even if it came out a number of years ago now, it does look really good. Running at a glorious 60 frames per second, apart from these little cutscenes which are 30 frames per second. But that'll, that's okay, we can forgive that. Uh, here's one of these funny outfits. I don't think that's his original outfit. Because he's playing with uh, someone hanging down in front of his eyes, just to make things a bit more difficult. Now, this is one of these stages, there we go adds a bit of more action to it. It's, a, it's pretty satisfying when you hit your opponent off the, off the, the building or whatever or on onto something else. Um, yeah. Okay. Ouch. I think I'm going over there in a second. Get ready, fight! Yeah, my favourite punch, 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 flip kick. And punch, 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 knee. There is ways to, I mean the whole point of this is to stun your opponent and then, or counter, and then hit them with a whole heap of combos. I think I managed like a six or a seven. I think I'm okay with doing about six or seven hit combos sometimes, but um, uh, mostly it's uh, three or four, maybe five. Ah. Uh, when you hit the ground, you lose health as well. Obviously. I'm really not doing so well now. Oh yes. Now that's one of the special moves. If you make that connect, you can actually kick or hit or whatever your opponent into part of the scenery um, for extra damage, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Here's one of these Santa costumes, which I wish I could turn off. Kind of takes you out of the fight a little bit when you're playing against somebody dressed up in Christmas stuff. There we go, I'm clearly not doing so well in this round. I'm doing better now. Hopefully I can keep up the pace here and... Yes. Okay. Not doing so well now. Oh come on, give me a break. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, okay Helena, Helena, all or nothing. Yeah, A knee to the face. Some of the, the stages, you know, the backgrounds look really good as well, like all the Cherry blossom falling, falling down and getting kicked up again. As we're fighting in it. All right, let's do this. 
You'll enjoy this, trust me. Ready? Get ready, fight! Hi! Ah, uh, no. Is it Jan, Jan Lee? Jan Lee? I don't know how you pronounce him. I like playing as him, he's a good character from Dead or Alive. And this stage is probably my favourite because there's just so many interactive elements in it. And he's putting up a fight here. He's a really fast character, so it loads of combos. Ouch. So now that my bar, you can see health bar's got red around it and his one, when it gets down to halfway, 50%, you can do special moves, which he's just done to me now. Ow. You can't do those sorts of moves um, when you have... See then, I kicked him and he grabbed hold of my foot. You can do all these like... I don't know if you call that a reversal or whatever. It's all this complex stuff and the fighting game's quite deep. Right, so now I have th below 50% health. Can I do something here? What the heck? Ah, come on. Nah, just a flip kick to finish. Okay, one round each. Ouch. Right, now I'm 50 yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> Almost dying. <laughs> Stage 7, one more to go after this. Keep up the pressure. That's how you do it. Good fight. Almost lost it. Try again in a few years. Let's go. Now, as well as the story mode I mentioned earlier, there's training modes, obviously you can learn the, all the moves, the special moves and so on, um, which is pretty useful. And the fighting mechanics get quite deep in this and certainly go f much more into it than what I, I'm willing to put into it. So, I, playing on normal, as I said, it's, it's all right. It's, I've lost a few rounds while recording this video, but you know, it's not too bad, it's not too difficult. If you want to see people playing this game properly, look for Legend difficulty on YouTube. I think there is some of Sarah in Legend. There's no way... Ouch! There's no way that I could win a round on Legend difficulty. This guy's putting up a fight. Okay, what on earth? I did not mean to do that. And... That's giving him the round. Okay, it all comes down to this. It's the final round on the final stage. And then we'll have a look at the other Virtua Fighter characters just in a moment after I have killed this guy. What's his name? Ein? Ian? Ian? <laughs> Don't know. Ah, I got him. again in a few years. And that is the end of the arcade mode. Puts me on the scoreboard at the very top. But there's tag team modes so you can play two on two and here we've got Pai Chan as well from Virtua Fighter. So I've swapped back to Sarah, slightly better with Sarah than, than Pai but I'm alright with Pai. She's also one of my favourite Virtua Fighters. You can swap between the two and you can actually do a special move as you swap. In some cases. Right, now here's Pi. Laying it Oh, okay. Getting... Not doing so well. Okay, ouch. Yep, okay, give me a break. Right, ow. Right, now see, I've swapped to say, if you look at Pi's bar up at the top, you can see that the green life bar is going back up to fill up the red gauge. So it can be worthwhile swapping back to allow the other character to regain some health, give them a bit of a break. Nice selection of characters, and here we go, here's Jackie, one of my favourite Virtua Fighters. 
修行の成果。And of course, Akira. Now, this fight here is basically just some highlights from the fight.、Um, I wouldn't put you through the whole of the match with me playing as Akira because I am not that good. He's a really complicated character to play、um, traditionally in Virtua Fighter. But here's Jan Li, Yan Li. I'll call him Jan Li.、Uh, he's good. And so is Jackie. But Jackie, you're not good enough. Knockout. His Pi again and Akira. There we go. I grabbed Pi with Akira and flung him into Jan and changed characters. Achievement unlocked. You're it. Try again in 10 years. Right, and another little highlight of one of my other favourite characters, the Ian guy, Ayn, against some guy in Halloween costume. But Here we go. My favourite Virtua Fighter character of all time, Jackie Bryant. Pretty awesome. Overall, yeah, it's a good game. I'm happy with that. All we need now is Virtua Fighter 6. Come on, Sega. It's like you're moving in slow motion. And why not check out one of these videos on my channel? If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to join me on my mission to discover everything great from Sega, hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'm Melton, and I'll see you next video.